Alex, because of that recent spike you referenced in coronavirus cases, Governor Steve Sisolak is now imposing a three week what he calls a pause. Yeah, he's stressing this is not a shutdown, but it will include more restrictions on businesses and even private gatherings. Kristen Drummond live on the strip this morning with some of those new rules. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Alex. The statewide pause is actually strengthening the mask mandate. Governor Steve Sislak wants everyone to wear a mask when not around people in your immediate household. So that means inside, outside, as well as at private gatherings. This is just one of the many targeted approaches to try and reduce our COVID case positivity rate. Now, there are other restrictions as well that are going to impact restaurants as well as fast food places. Is. He's requiring to reduce capacity from 50% to 25%. Also, guests must book a reservation. That includes places in casinos. No walk-ins are allowed and no more than four customers at a table. Governor Sislak encourages anyone not actively eating or drinking to wear a mask at the table. We spoke to Lucy's Bar at the Lucky Club Casino about the new guidelines and staff say they're ready to comply. I'm, I'm really good with it. I want this to go away and I know it's not going to, but if we, you know, cut down again, maybe we can get a handle on this. As far as enforcement goes, Governor Sislak seems to be leaving it up to local jurisdictions. He also referred to agencies like OSHA, which investigate if issues are reported. Now, brothels, strip clubs, day clubs, as well as nightclubs will remain closed, but these additional changes are not going to be impacting nail, hair salons, massage places, as well as spas. Now, the statewide pause goes into effect at 1201 Tuesday morning. Reporting live on the Strip, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.